you can't tell how good it tastes, all right? But this stuff will rock your world. Hey, Mark McKillie with Live Anabolic. Everybody is always asking me to shoot more videos about nutrition, so that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to show you guys how to create a fantastic healthy meal in the version of a smoothie. And not only that, but this is going to help you boost your testosterone levels while at the same time keeping your estrogen levels as low as possible. So stick around. It's really easy and really tasty. All right, so before I start putting all this stuff together, I'm just going to kind of go down the line and explain real briefly what I have in here and why. Now, we start off with almond milk. Now, this is kind of the base for our, for our smoothie. I'm going to follow it up with just a little bit of almond butter, a couple of teaspoons, right? Then we're going to come over the, here and we're going to add just a little bit of sunflower seeds. I love these things. They're great for you. Uh, we're going to put in our Testo Greens. This is one of our supplements that we make that's fantastic for you. And the reason we're putting it in here is because it helps boost our testosterone and try to keep that estrogen, estrogen levels as low as possible. And then love throwing in, these are frozen berries, which is really cool. You don't have to go to the grocery store and buy fresh fruit all the time. I buy a big bag of this, just keep it in my freezer and pull it out anytime I want to. Uh, this is just a scoop a plain old vanilla whey protein, all right? And then of course, a banana. Real straightforward, guys. And I promise, I'm gonna make this up in just a second for you. I'll show you, of course, how easy it is. But, but secondly, we got pretty much everything in here that your body needs from a protein, from a carbohydrate, and from a fat standpoint. Not to mention the Testo Greens helps us with our hormonal issues okay it's, it's we're you know it, it's really good at trying to keep our body's natural production of testosterone as high as possible and then most guys don't realize this but you know we do produce estrogen all right and so estrogen is a fat holding hormone that's why women have such a hard time losing fat because they make way more estrogen than we do okay and so we want to keep that as low as possible and so Click on our website. There's so many ingredients in, in these Testo Greens that I can't even remember off the top of my head. But if you click on this exact product on our website, it brings up a long list of everything that's in Testo Greens and why it's in there, all right? So guys, this is something you can have not just as an additional in-between snack, okay, but you can actually have this as a meal in and of itself. This would make a great breakfast for anybody that's on the go. Whip this up, stick it in a big, a big glass, and then you know take it as a roadie in your car as you're driving to work. It's, it's, it's that easy, guys. So let me just start off here. I love a lot of berries, okay? So I'm gonna put whoop, about a full cup of mixed berries in here. All right, now they're frozen, and of course that helps make it nice and crunchy and cold, all right? I'm just gonna dump all right, the protein in there. That was about one scoop or a full serving. That's about 24 grams of protein. All right, now comes our Testo Greens. Look, it's just a tiny little scoop there. That's all you need, guys. That's a full serving. That's all you need for an entire day. All right, you don't have to be exact here, all right? Sunflower seeds, remember guys, I'm like the laziest cook of all time. And that goes for like measuring things out. So I just put as much as I feel like in there, all right? Now, the almond butter, all right, I like, I like this stuff, all right? This is pretty good. You can put one or two tablespoons. That's a pretty big heaping blob there, but I can't get it all off at one time. So only about half of that came off. <laughs> this is probably the most time consuming part of it is getting the almond butter off the spoon. All right, let's put the other glob in there. All right, good enough for government work. And then guess what? Almond milk, uh, I do about a half a cup, just to, you know, to your taste. How, how thick do you want your smoothie? I like mine pretty thick, but also if when I whip it up, it's too thick at the end, I just dump a little bit more almond milk in there to, to liquefy it a little better, make it easier to drink and pour into a cup. And then guys, I put an entire banana in here. You know, you can kind of modify, all right, the serving sizes here according to your taste, all right? But that's it. I mean, that 
didn't take very long, right? All right, I'm gonna whip it up here, see what happens. Come on, baby. Suck it down. Oh yeah, there we go. All right, now that's nice and thick. Here's my roadie cup. Oh my God, I love that. Real nice and thick and nice and cold. I didn't have to add any ice, okay? Now that's because the, the, the fruit, the mixed berries that I put in there were frozen, okay? And then also, I keep my bananas in the refrigerator. You can even put them in the freezer if you want. And because of that, it, those two things being cold and frozen, it really, God darn guys. All right, so you can't tell how good it tastes, all right? But this stuff will rock your world. And you can have this as a late night snack if you're still feeling hungry after dinner. Uh, this is a great way to break a fast if you guys are doing intermittent fasting. For guys that are eating kind of all day, you know, kind of the traditional type of diet, if you don't want to have to go through the trouble of making a bunch of, you know, eggs and bacon and stuff like that for breakfast, this is a great alternative. And like I said, just pop it in a little roadie cup and get in your car and head off to work. So lots, lots of ways you can use this. This can be a post-workout, okay. Um, you know, kind of a protein shake that has a lot more than just the protein in there. You're getting all those other great ingredients for you. So guys, mm. if you're lazy like me and you hate to cook and go through a lot of trouble, this is a great way to get all the nutritional vitamins, minerals, proteins, carbs, fats in your body that you need to produce as much testosterone as possible. And of course, the testo greens helps with your estrogen levels. And guys, this is something you can do every day, all right? So this isn't some special thing that you can only do on the weekends or it's not just a dessert. This can be just kind of part of what you do as far as the way you eat day in, day out. And that's what I do. I find a lot of healthy foods that are good for me and I go to the grocery store and I basically buy the same stuff week after week after week. And I don't get bored eating the same food. Now remember, it's not the exact same meal for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, all right? I change it up, I go out to dinner a couple times a week, I go out to breakfast a couple of times a week. But still, for the most part, when I go grocery shopping, I buy virtually the same basket of goods. And this, guys, is something you ought to include in your weekly nutrition.